All right, hello, wine-drinking people. Time for more of what I've had to drink yesterday and another brief visit from our friends from Steckhole. They've got a number of people now calling on us here. and I like to see a lot of different wines, so I don't mind that. You know, I'll see three suppliers a day. I'll taste 20, 30 wines in an afternoon, and to me, that is the most important part of my job, letting you, our wine-drinking people, know what is available in the South Florida market. And we are lucky we've got some of the best wines and the biggest allocations of some of the top wines made around the world here in South Florida. Hey, it's the number two state in the country for imports. It's the number two state in the country for domestic products. We got Disneyland. We got Miami. We got a lot of uh, Disney. We got a lot of stuff where people get international exposure here in this market. So the big brands want to be here. And um, hey, man, like I said, it's fine with me. I am up for the task. Anyways, we had a nice little Vin Musso Blanc de Blanc, uh, Cremant Method uh, Simon A here to start. Ten dollars a bottle. Eh. You know, it's something I would mix with peach nectar or, you know, uh, orange juice if I was making, uh, you know, a breakfast drink with with my sparkling wine. But I don't, I don't mix fruit beverages with sparkling wine. This is 100% Chardonnay and a very crisp and very clean style of sparkler. Uh, apples and pears, hints of white flowers, a touch of spice. But like I said, in my world, I am method champenoise all the way or nothing when it comes to sparkling wine. I don't drink Prosecco. I don't drink cheap sparkling wine from anywhere. All right. With that said, the next two wines are of the highest level of quality from one of my favorite producers. From the Southern Rhone, Domaine Sang de Cayo, the blood from the stones. And we just reviewed uh, one of their Baccaras. And I have to say, you know, uh, I was so pleased when when uh, when, when they said, we're going to come back and taste you on the white wine because... I remember visiting this producer, and the white wine just blew me away. It's a blend of Roussan, Grenache Blanc, and Marsan. It just has this incredible honeyed aroma to the nose, peaches, lovely perfume, flowers, lavender, just incredibly complex and layered. And just the richness of this wine once it gets in your mouth, just lovely creaminess to it. And all of those flavor, that honey, peach, fruit, orange marmalade, and uh, really long, layered finish. This wine is a uh, slightly oily texture to it, but very balanced and uh, nice freshness on the finish, even though it's very rich in this exotic to it that I just love. Most excellent juice. One of my favorite whites I've ever had from the Southern Rhone. All right, the Vaccaras Cuba de Lope, they've got two different vineyard sites here. This is the 2009 vintage as well, a blend of Grenache Syrah and Movedra. Really complex bouquet of aromas here. You get that fresh flower and herbal note, that garig character you get from the south of France. Red and black fruits and uh, really just continues to grow and evolve as this wine opens up in the glass. Notice some peppery spice coming out in this wine as well. Smooth and silky on the tongue with layers of that garig, that herbal, that floral nuance showing on the finish, and just lovely richness on the palate. This wine just got a finish that goes on and on. Most excellent juice at 58 bucks. That's what we had to drink with our friends from State Cole. I'm your host, Andrew Lampasoni, signing off for the Wine Watch, saying remember, always drink the good stuff first.